Uh, one of the things we have to look at, Carrie, uh, when we're purchasing a, a unit like this, you're going to be backing up your data to this thing, right? Right. So if you've got, let's say you've got a 40 gigabyte drive in your computer, which is very modest by today's standards, mm -hmm. I would recommend that you get your backup drive, say, you know, if, if you've got the budget for it, I would suggest going at least uh, four times your capacity. Oh, wow. So keep in mind as you're buying a computer as well that if you're going to be filling up let's say a 400 or a 500 gigabyte hard drive uh, in that computer, for you to keep a redundant backup of that computer is going to also take up an additional 400 or 500 gigs for one copy of that backup. So if yeah. you're doing any kind of incremental backups that's going to be keeping several copies uh, incrementally, mm -hmm. then you could run into issues with, with capacity on your external drive. So we've got to watch out for that. So after you back everything up, it takes up so much space, right? It'll take up an identical amount of space to what's on your computer. Okay. So, so if, you've got, if you've got, say, 100 gigs of video files, like I do with Category 5, mm -hmm. and I want to back that up, I have to have a, a very minimum of the same amount mm -hmm. of space free on that data backup drive. Okay. So say you go and then you change something, and you want to back that up again, but you haven't necessarily used more... Space, so same, I guess. you've modified the same file. Yeah, and then you go to save it. Mm -hmm. Does it save like on top? So you using you like a hundred gig and then a hundred gig again? See, and that, or does that, it go that's over? a good question, Carrie. But see, think of it this way. Let's say you've got a picture that you've taken with your digital camera. Yeah. You import it into your computer and then you back it up. So you've got yeah. a copy of that picture as it appeared the day that you took it. Right. So it's an exact copy. Okay. Then you go into the GIMP or Photoshop and you manipulate the image. You bring out some of the contrast and you and you change it, and then you save it over top of the original file. So then mm -hmm. if you back it up, y on top of the old backup, you're now losing the original file. And oh, then okay. subsequently, you resize that down for a website and save it over the same file name, and then you save it, and then you've lost the resolution of the image. You've oh, lost, okay, just to yeah. give you a real quick. But yeah. having multiple copies of your backup incrementally, uh, snapshots and things like that, mm -hmm. allows you to basically go back in time. So okay. if you think, well, I had this file, um, and you know, and back then it used to have this information in it, if it's a document, say. Yeah. Well, I know so-and-so's phone number was there, but I've deleted it since my last backup. Right. And so then when I backed it up, it's completely gone. Well, mm -hmm. if you've still got the old file, you'd still have that information. Okay. So that's kind of what we have to look at as well. Okay, that, like, that makes sense. Yeah? Yeah.